Good morning, everyone. Uh, we finally made it to the first day of Unit 3 in our intercession class, so uh, things are moving right along really quickly, as is the case with these kinds of classes. So um, I'm glad to see uh, the work that everyone's doing. I must say that I have sympathy for anyone who is sick or has a family member who is sick during this intercession. Um, I'm getting over my cold, um, but now uh, some of us at home are also sick, so um, that's been a little difficult to deal with, and I've been a, a little behind where I would like to be in terms of providing feedback. Um, I did just finish uh, providing feedback for your first uh, timeline ID steps. I'm going to be completing the uh, connection steps in just a few minutes. There were a few of you who got on Twitter a little bit later than everyone else. Um, if that's the case, please note that I will uh, provide your scores for everything um, when I score Twitter again tomorrow. Um, so I'll end up scoring that every other day. And I'll try to be interacting with you there every day. Um, but in terms of, of providing feedback and doing the scores, it will be every other day. If you have any questions about how to get on Twitter or TikiTaki, please ask me. Um, I'm more than happy to help, and I, again, as I've mentioned elsewhere, I realize that uh, these are new tools for many of us. I think that they are really powerful and kind of interesting ways to engage with history online. Um, so I think that it's important to uh, use them, or I think that they have value. So again, I'm happy to help you if you have any questions about how to get started with those, please ask. Um, finally, I think everyone did a pretty good job with the first um, timeline assignment, the first ID step. Remember that the key, the most important part here, is your evaluation of historical significance. Um, so, as I usually do with this class um, for the first timeline assignment, since we're all getting used to how it works, um, I allow you the opportunity to revise in order to earn um, a higher score on that first assignment and to try to address some of the things that I brought up in my feedback. So uh, please take advantage of that if you'd like to. Uh, of course, you don't have to, but you can go ahead and revise that. And please do implement the ideas that I give, have given you in your specific feedback um, when you go into my grades and look at the rubric. Um, please do integrate that into your work for the next uh, timeline assignment as well. Thinking about historical significance then, on one of the previous videos I added that link, which was also in Unit 1, um, to the, the short reading and videos on historical significance. If you have questions about what I mean with that, please review um, that site. But also, what you're doing with the historical significant significance part of the uh, timeline assignment as well as of the journal assignments, that's where you are providing your analysis and your evaluation. So again, when historians ask you uh, to provide the significance, that's where you need to provide your commentary and your argument about what it is that you're talking about, why it matters, why is it important. So if you've written a post and you go back and read through it and you realize that you haven't really addressed the, the question of you know, why does this matter, um, then you need to revise. You need to also address that issue. And for our specific purposes, please explain why it matters for New Mexico history. Um, and so again, that's, that's where you're going with historical significance. You're not making a sustained argument like you would in a formal essay. But you are making an argument. You're taking a stand. So again, make sure that you've addressed that question of why does this matter and that you've taken a stand, that you've made some sort of an argument. Um, try to be as specific as you can. I also do realize, you know, this is a quick class. You're not going to be writing volumes um, in the timeline assignments. If you are writing volumes, uh, please note that you can cut that back a bit and still um, get the point of the assignment and do very well with it. As always, if you have any questions about any of that, please let me know. I really appreciate all of the feedback that you gave me on the video announcements. Um, I'm certainly going to continue to post them. Um, that was always my plan. I do think that I will try to add more um, PowerPoint-ish uh, with images kinds of things to the uh, unit introductions. Although, unfortunately, just given the short time frame of this class and other concerns that are going on, I won't be able to do it this time around. Uh, but I have taken your feedback to heart, and I think that uh, there are a lot of great ways to improve the class going forward. 
This video is getting a little too long, so I'll go ahead and cut it off here. Um, thanks for all your hard work so far, and I look forward to, uh, continue our, to continuing our discussion of the colonial era in New Mexico history, specifically with the Pueblo Revolt and the uh, development of the society that came after that.